my chickens before? <laughs> That's one of my 10,000 villages purchases. One of my kids gave me this, another 10,000 villages purchase. The singing bowl <laughs> that you might have heard a few days ago also comes from 10,000 villages. And here we have our fire e uh, evacuation plan. In case something comes up, we know how to get out of the building safely and quickly. Now, you might be wondering what these things have in common. Well, let's go to our scripture first. It comes from Exodus chapter 15, verses 20 and 21. Then the prophet Miriam, Aaron's sister, took a tambourine in her hand, and all the women went out after her with tambourines and with dancing. And Miriam sang to them, Sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. Horse and rider has been thrown into the sea. Moses and, and the Israelites have fled. They've escaped from, uh, from Egypt, and they're now in safety. The Pharaoh chased them right to the Red Sea, and, and it parted for them, and they've managed to escape, and now they're celebrating. They were held back. They were imprisoned by something. Hence our evacuation plan. If we're in here and something happens, we need to escape. It's good to know that we have something. It might sound trite compared to some of the things others are having to experience when it comes to how they're held back or imprisoned. That word imprisoned, you know, we, we tend to think of it in one or two different ways, but I think we can expand our minds into new ways of looking at it. The 10,000 villages is a way of having people be able to be financially compensated for the work they do by cutting out all the middlemen. This way, they're able to sell for a decent price for themselves, the things that they produce, just like fair trade coffee and some of the other things that we use. I think my chickens are a little happier knowing that. <laughs> what are the other things that we can think of as a lack of freedom right where we are? I was outside a few minutes ago and man alive, I want to get on my motorbike so bad it's beautiful out there. Riding on the motorcycle is that sense of freedom. I can't say wind in my hair because I do wear a helmet, of course, but it is that sense of freedom. In Canada, we're so blessed with the freedoms that we do have. I think it's important to recognize, though, that we're not all free. If you can't afford good dental care, are you really free? If you can't afford uh, medications or, or medical care, if you can't afford food on your table, if you don't have this, yes, the essentials of life, are you really free? As a society, do we recognize those freedoms or do we only recognize freedoms for those that can afford them? That's not really freedom, is it? It's a good thing to reflect on. What is freedom for us? Something for you to ponder too. Is there a time when you felt liberation from something? Something where you were held back, captive, enslaved, imprisoned? How did you feel when you were released from that? Maybe it's a bad relationship that you're able to come out from or crushing debt or something of that nature. Maybe those are still imprisoning you today. Speak with someone. Let us find freedom, not only for ourselves, but for all of us, all people, everywhere. That's what Jesus wanted, freedom for all of us. Let's take a moment in prayer. Holy God, we give thanks for those that are around us that help us understand and achieve freedom in our lives. Help us never to forget those of us who don't have freedom, those that are held back, imprisoned, oppressed in so many different ways, ways that are not of their doing. Human-made barriers and obstacles need to be removed. Help us be those hands and feet of Jesus to make those changes in the lives of ourselves, our friends, our families, our strangers, people everywhere, because all people are a part of us and your world. Amen.
If you have anything you want to share on this reflection, on this, did I tell you what day in Lent it is? I'm not starting over. Day 29 in Lent. Not a whole lot of days left in Lent to go. If you want to share a reflection on this, thoughts, stories, or on anything else, feel free to share them at LentonFaith at uh, gmail.com, and I'd love to hear from you. Until then, God bless. Amen.